Hello and welcome to the Frisco Bowl game picks video. We got North Texas versus Miami, Ohio, of course. Um, I'm your host, Matthew Mata for Lions.com. We got Jason Gilbo in the house, and he's really going to be your guide through this one. I'm going to admit, I did some, some research into this game, have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm letting Jason handle the picks here, and uh, I'm just going to be here for comedic relief. So Jason, who, who do we like in this one? Uh, I'm leaning North Texas here, plus three. Um, this game's interesting. Like, it's probably not one of those games that you have circled, and I don't think anyone really should unless you live in Ohio or North Texas, I guess. <laughs> um, but l- look at this game. Um, these are kind of the two teams that have been coming into the end of the season, one coming in pretty strong, the other not so much. Um, North Texas really – kind of a tale of two seasons. Um, You know, they went on what a seven game losing streak, you know, to start the year lost to some good teams that ended up being pretty good. But um, I I think kind of the big performance at the end of the year after winning five straight and then beating UTSA 45, 23 um, is kind of a big massive step for how they've, they've turned around their season. And then when you look at really over the year, North Texas has been actually been one of the better teams in terms of covering the spread um, nine and three this year. And the fact that they're such a run heavy team, I feel like they can kind of negate this Miami offense that that does like to throw a little bit, um, especially when you factor in like a pretty decent quarterback play for Miami, Ohio on this season. But uh, I just think North Texas defense has been kind of stepping up of late. Um, Miami, Ohio is not a, a team that I can rely on consistently. And I think this is kind of going to be an ugly grinded out type of game. And I think that actually really benefits North Texas, especially with their ground game. Um, because this year, I mean, they are running for 243 yards per game. That's third in the nation. Um, they're allowing 27.5. Not great. Um, but I don't think Miami, Ohio is really shaking anyone because we kind of look at some of these Mac teams and go, oh, these teams should be putting up offenses. They were the one of the weaker teams in the Mac in terms of, of scoring. So I'm not too worried about that. And I kind of like the front uh, seven of North Texas against this offensive line as well. So I think they can get some pressure to Brett Gabbard as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm leaning with North Texas. Yeah, so in my minimal research, I will say I've noticed kind of a trend from sportsbooks, it seems like, in college football where it seems like they're not really adjusting for the back half of the season. Um, I can think of a few examples. The biggest one for me is Utah, but same thing with North Texas where it's like, yeah, if you look at the entirety of the season, I get the three-point underdog here. But if you only took the last six games, I feel like North Texas should have been favored coming into this one. And why? Like, what should a better be worried about? Like, Why would North Texas all of a sudden turn back into that team from the start of the season? I don't think there's any reason to worry there. I, I think this is actually a great bet. Um, again, based off of Jason, don't get mad at me if we lose. But... I do think that you're gaining a little bit of a discount because North Texas struggled out of the gates. Like I really, when looking at just the pure numbers, because I haven't watched either of these two teams play a full game this season. I don't understand why North Texas is the underdog. Yeah. I, I mean, like, you know, it's funny because whenever we look and go, Oh, is, is someone out? Who's out? You yeah. know, I, I looked into it. Nothing there. Um, I think it's one of those things where it's, I think they're just kind of valuing the Mac conference a little bit more in this type of matchup. And then I, like you said, I think they're just still factoring. Yes. They did lose seven straight games. Yeah. Um, that, that is still something to note, but in terms of the recent play, like I, I'm not writing them off. And I think some people are. Yeah. Uh, we'll say they turn the corner. Do you have a beat on the over under or are you kind of just nope. staying? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. That's probably smart. Whenever we get like, a really run heavy team, whether it was Army earlier, we talked about it's a couple others. It's really hard to get a gauge on the over under because, like, Northern Illinois, another great example. It can they can be so efficient they can put up forty on the on their own, but at the same time, it's a running team. Like the clock is going to be chewed up. It's also very likely that you get a super low scoring game. So when it comes to these run heavy teams, I think oftentimes we're kind of just staying away from the over under. At best, maybe teasing it if we somewhat have a gauge, but. Yeah, uh, probably just stick with the spread in this one. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for th- for this video. Not too much from me, but uh, again, direct your anger in the comments at Jason Gilbo. 
Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. You always can click subscribe and the bell to get notified when these videos go up. If you like this one, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this game. Help educate myself. Maybe educate Jason. I don't know who you think is going to win in this one. If you have a gauge on the over-under. Um, and once again, we don't want to hear if you're going to come into this video after the game's over and tell us where you're wrong. Do it before the game starts and then prove to us that you actually knew what was going on. Um, anyway, we'll see you for the next one very soon.